Hello friends, today I am going to have a discussion on a small project based on Bluetooth and Arduino to make our home appliances safe and easy to access for the elderly people and physically challenged people also for the kids who handle those electrical appliances we need to uh, give a safe access to them so that is the objective of this project so in case if you have a kids who access uh, the TV uh, light and uh, things like that maybe they do not know how to handle them safely they come with a wet hand and turn on the switches may leads to electrical shock so we need to protect them from this kind of hazards and for the physically challenged people it is easy for them to access those uh, electrical appliances from their same place where they are and uh, um, elderly people who cannot get up and go and turn on and turn off these devices if this project can be a handy tool or a very helpful uh, concept for them and it requires only few uh, components let us discuss uh, the project in detail so the objective is to modernize the home appliance control to help the aged people in home and to keep a safe access for the small kids in the house so this is the wiring diagram of uh, project so we have a original Uno as a controller we have a, a GSM whichever as uh, Bluetooth in the GSM that GSM is enough for doing it we do not to have a very high free mobile for this you can just have a basic model which is having a Bluetooth control this be enough to access this device and we have a um, LCD which is very much optional in case you need you can use it otherwise you can discard it and we have a four channel relay module here 5 volt uh, 10 ampere relays in case if you are uh, having uh, more devices to be controlled we can ha have eight channel relay or 16 channel relay as per your requirement so i have connected four loads here so i have used a four channel relay module so which controls the tv fan light and the help buzzer so these are the devices and I have used a Bluetooth module HC05 as my communicator between the GSM and Arduino Uno. So how does the project works? The Bluetooth module it receives a signal from the mobile phone. The mobile we will we are going to install some software. So through the software it will communicate with the, the Bluetooth module. The Bluetooth module will send the commands to the Arduino Uno, the Arduino Uno, we are going to have a program which we are going to write it and then the Arduino Uno executes the program and it sends a signal to the relay module as per the signals received from the Arduino, the relay module is going to either turn on or turn off the load and all of these uh, devices which I have shown is going to be inside a packed device, packed box and uh, going to be kept away from the a user so we need not to touch any of these devices just by operating your mobile phone you can turn on and turn off the devices so that you are very much safe and also we need not to go near the switch box or we need not to get up from your place at all to access all these devices so that is the main objective of this particular project so let us see the code we are having a small code here where we are initializing the uh, things with the uh, header files we are adding include wire.h crystal liquid crystal i2c.h and we are since we are using 16 class 2 we uh, i put a 16 comma 2 in case if you are having 20 for 20 class 4 you can use that in case if you don't use lcd we can just skip those two lines and then uh, we enable the soft serial to make a communication between Bluetooth module and your Arduino and we are uh, uh, defining the input or output devices device 1, device 3, uh, device 4 all these devices are acting as our output devices in the setup we need to initialize the LCD serial communication and then we define all the devices output and then keeping all the devices initially low that means all the loads will be off when we start the system in the loop what we do is actually we receive the command from the bluetooth by using the command bluetooth serial dot available of if the bluetooth available then it goes inside and it will read the uh, 
uh, instructions from the Bluetooth module using Bluetooth bt serial dot read off using this function we read the command once we receive the command then it goes inside and it reads the process command function when you uh, execute this process command function it goes to the wide process command loop where we have if else condition to check the command which we receive is equal to the existing uh, characters uh, which we have given there for assigned for uh, each devices say fan on fan off like that we have given here so you can assign as per your wish like uh, a b c d or one two three four anything you can assign there so it will be compared with the command which received so based on the command which is received when the condition satisfied then it will go into the loop say for example if the command received is fan on then the first statement is true so it will go inside here then it will turn on the device one and it will display the uh, things in the lcd if this condition not satisfied then it will go to the second condition then it will keep checking one by one condition which condition is satisfied then it will go and operate that particular loop and it will make the function to happen either it is on or off and whether to display it on or off in the lcd so this is the code in case if you want to make another extra code to turn off all the device together we can put one more else if condition if none of the above condition satisfied uh, or if you uh, separately write a command say all of you write a command all of like h of you will put a, a all of then when that, that particular command is enabled then it will go inside and turn off all the devices or if you want to make all the devices turn on together also possible you can write a all on and you make all the device high level so it will turn on so that is how to you or uh, what uh, kind of uh, thing you want to make it uh, light and fan together on so any combinations you can make it off so this is about the code i hope uh, there is no much uh, doubt in the code because it's a very simple code else uh, if else condition only in case if you have a doubt about the code please let me know in the comment box and i told you that we are going to use a software in the gsm module so the software name is bluetooth terminal hc05 so this is very much available in uh, google play if you are using a normal mobile phone or if you are uh, using an iphone you can also find this in the iphone it is available this software is available just uh, search it then install this one and once after you install it will ask for pairing with your bluetooth module search for the new device and pair the device with your um, uh, bluetooth module once it is paired then you will have this um, page so here you can type as what you write in the program a on light on f on whatever you type in the code same thing you can type here and you can send ascii code once you press send ascii code from your gsm then it will send the information to the Bluetooth module. The Bluetooth module will send the information to the Arduino. The Arduino will compare and it will give signal to the relay and the relay will turn on and turn off the devices. So if you can't able to type every time then there is option also for switching on and switching off using buttons, readily available buttons available in this one. So if you want to enable the button these three lines, three dots are here now. So just click over here you can get some pop-up here in that pop-up you can choose button options so it will ask how many buttons you want three button four button 20 buttons until 20 buttons you can use using this one like one button for turn on one button for turn off like that you can use many buttons for many devices so this is the implemented system where you can see the arduino and uh, relay board relay board and we have uh, gsm oh, sorry uh, bluetooth module here and then you have also the LCD for displaying the things. Let us see the implemented system in the demo. So this is the implemented system where I am going to have four different loads, two lamp here, one lamp here, one lamp here, and two fans, this is one, this is another one. Uh, so these are my four loads. Just for demonstration purpose, I have used the small loads. You can use, instead of these small loads, you can use a bigger loads by using a, a relay module. Here I have used the four transistors just to drive these four small loads. In case if you are using it for uh, controlling the bigger loads, then you can use a relay module as I told you earlier, 5 volt uh, DC relay modules. And 
if if you want to control ac then be careful in selecting the relay otherwise all other devices like a fan uh, light tv all these are not consuming much power so you can use a normal relay board no issues and we have this bluetooth module here then lcd here let us see what happens So here Bluetooth based help, this is the introduction message. So this is the software, I, I told you the buttons, button 1, button 3, button 4. So I enabled uh, two rows. Uh, instead of that, you can enable four rows. So you can have almost 20 uh, buttons here. So you can make use of the buttons for controlling more devices. So here button 1, button 3, button 5, button 7, all hard numbers are uh, used for turning on the devices. All even numbers 2, 4, 6, 8 are used for uh, turn off the device. So if you want to turn off all the devices together, I will go to use the button number 9. So let us see the demo. So button 1 is pressed. So the lamp 1 is turned on. Button 3, the fan. The lamp, the second one fan. Button 5, the second light is on. Button 7, the second light fan is on, you can see here it is on. Now turn off, button 2, first light off. Button 4, this fan is getting off. Button 6, this light is off. Button 8, this fan is also getting off. Now if you want to turn off all together, button 1, button 3, button 5, 7. Now all the devices are on. I want to turn off everything together. I press button number 9. All off and everything is getting off. So this is very simple project and very much helpful in case if you have elderly people in your home and also when you want to keep your kids away from this all electrical hazards and uh, provide safety for them, it is also very much helpful in that case. Thank you very much for listening and watching the video. Thank you also for supporting our channel. If you have any suggestions, please let me know in the comment box. And if you have any topics to be discussed, please let me know. In case if I have an uh, idea about it, and if, you, if I know the things, I will share surely with you. And any projects if you want to do, please let me know also. If possible, I will make it and I will demonstrate it in the upcoming videos. Thank you very much for supporting our channel. Thank you. Thank you so much. Bye.